Warning, this video may contain foul language, crude humor, and is meant for an adult audience. Please be advised. Hello and welcome to another edition of War Journal Toys. I am Jason, your toy vigilante, here to be your forward observer in, in your toy hunting missions. Let's debrief. So if you're new, new to my channel... I do not cut my videos. I do put them on pause to open them up sometimes. Uh, I don't edit or any of that crap. I don't got time or the patience. So I curse. Just get used to it. If you don't like cursing, I apologize. You can find somebody else that doesn't curse. There's plenty of guys out there. I'm a construction worker. It kind of goes with my vocabulary. It's I'm not trying to be rude or crude. It's just I'm not going to edit myself and try to be a uh, clean up my language for every video. I am trying not to curse curse so much, but you've been doing. I've been doing it for almost fifth, well, almost forty years or so. It's hard to stop. So today we are taking a look at Masters of the Universe He Man, the fortieth anniversary version. Of, I believe it's from the 2000X series. They made the Origins version of him. I think he kind of... I don't... His haircut's kind of... Kind of Justin Bieber. Kind of looking like a... Boy band thing. But whatever. So... I picked this up. I got it. I got a whole case. Because I got... All these figures, I've already done a video on Mantana and Pighead. So if you're interested in looking at that, <coughs> I do have that already posted. You can look back in my videos. I bought this from Malaysia. So it has kind of a funny UPC sticker over it because it's not exactly the same. So when these came out in Malaysia, I bought the case and had it shipped here. Um, mind you, I paid probably more than most people would, but whatever. Um, I did not open these up because that was about the time that when I got these and I did the videos, uh, all hell broke loose at work and a bunch of things changed in my life because I'm trying to open a business now and just do bigger and better things with my life instead of working so hard for people that don't give a fuck. Um, so, take a look, closer look at them in the packaging, regular retro, uh, packaging. Got the sticker for the 2000X, comes with the mini comic in the back, artwork, origins, typical, badass. So, I'm going to pause the video and pop them out of the package so you don't have to waste your time waiting for me to do it. And we're back with Boy Band He-Man. Get this little rubber band piece out of there. So, <clears throat> he's cool. You got to watch out. Like I just saw this right there. Don't know if you can see it, but they put a little silver dot of paint. So, if you're real particular, pay attention to the paint jobs on these. Because like that on his belt isn't the best either. So, boy band He-Man here. He's got his chest armor. Can unsnap like so. Let's snap that back on. Which is kind of a pain in the butt. Come on. If you don't want to fuck with that, you might not want to unsnap that. But there's a little... Okay, I'm pausing the video. Okay, we're back from that bullshit thing. So, it's quite the thing to get that snap back in there. So, but you have the loop for the sword. Which is kind of funny because the sword doesn't really fit in there very well. The axe will. But somebody wasn't thinking when they did that. <clears throat> but the sword is very reminiscent of the 2000X version. I don't own one. I just kind of remember seeing it on eBay. 
but very big and bulky, kind of detail oriented, a little bit shiny silver. And then it comes with the axe, which is very detail oriented. It's also a shiny metallic. The end of the right here, the end of the handle should have had a little bump in it, but I don't know why they didn't add that detail. They made it, it looks puny compared to the head. And then you get the shield, which is also the silver metallic and with the red detail, has the standard thing on the back. Those are shields for holding on to. So we can put that on him. He does not come up with extra hands. But you got that. And then that's another thing I noticed with the sword. The sword doesn't have any detail or a pommel. I think it's what it's called at the end there. So slip that in. Let's see if you'll stand up and cooperate. But yeah, he's a cool action figure if you're into the boy band haircut. Um, some people are probably not going to be interested in this one. Unless you're really into the 2000X cartoon. I believe they made a cartoon of it, if I remember right. And let's get a better shot of him. So, he's a cool action figure. He does come with a comic book, The Horrors of Pig Head. And then, of course, you get the little detail on the swappable parts, the arms, the head, torso, or the crotch, whatever, and his legs, or his boots. So, you could switch that out. Might be cool if you just took and popped his head off and put a, a vintage head on. It might look better if you're into that. So, I'm Jason. This is War Journal Toys. If you like my content, please like, share, subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one.